Good morning and welcome back everybody. I am getting ready to make a pie crust for our video for today, but this is me from yesterday because today is Friday in my actual world, but this is for our Saturday video. I am making our sourdough pie crust ahead of time for our turkey pot pie, which will be in today's video, which is actually tomorrow for me. So um, I figured I would throw it on this video because it goes with the dinner on this video. So I didn't feel like making the pie crust, well, I am making the pie crust the day before because this is when I have the time to do it, but I didn't want the pie crust to be in the video from yesterday if you didn't watch it and then you're trying to watch today's video and you're like, well, how did I miss the recipe? Let me go back and watch. So I figured it'd just be easier to add it to today's video. So here we go. I'm gonna share this. This is a recipe for sourdough pie crust. It is from Farmhouse on Boone. I love her recipes. They're always so simple to follow. They're wonderful. She is like the master at sourdough. So if you have any questions, go see her because she's just a genius with it. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and make this. This is my first time ever making it. So we're gonna try and let's get it done. So we're gonna do two cups of flour. Two teaspoons of sugar. And one teaspoon of salt. do one cup of cold cubed butter. So let me get that out and cubed up. So now we're just gonna cut this in and it says be careful not to overwork it. Now we're gonna add a cup of sourdough discard. The recipe says you can actually use either regular like active sourdough or discard. I'm using discard because I did feed mine last night but it's not incredibly active right now. Divide it in half. And shape each into a little disc. We're gonna wrap it in saran wrap and put it in the fridge until tomorrow, which will be later in the day or later in the video for you. Tomorrow for me. So these are going in the fridge until tomorrow. Welcome back. Today is Saturday for us, and let me tell you, it is another very chilly day. Yesterday was like 60 something, so it was kind of warm, but it rained most of the day, so we couldn't spend a lot of it outside, but it was still warm. Today, I cannot get warm at all, so I'm like wearing all the clothes trying to get very warm. So right now it is 1040 and my kids have been asking for lunch again already. So we still have a lot of hot dogs left. I feel like we've been eating them constantly, but I made, I think it was a pack of 12. Yeah, it was six and six. So it was a pack of 12, but they're like the big fat ones from Sam's Club. The ones that they sell like at the little restaurant part. What do you even call that? The snack? I don't know. Anyway, so they're, they're the really big fat ones. And so we end up cutting them in half because it's easier for the kids to eat them. So instead of having 12, we had like 24. So they have been eating them nonstop. And I just asked them what they wanted for lunch. And they said hot dogs again. They love these things. So I'm heating them up some hot dogs right now. And I don't know what I'm going to eat for lunch, but I am quite hungry. Um, I didn't eat any breakfast. I wasn't hungry when I made breakfast and now it's all put away. So now that I am hungry, I'm like, trying to figure out what in the world I'm going to eat. But I did just pull out my sourdough um, 
Oh, I already said good morning. I forgot. I filmed this yesterday. So there you go. I said it again. Um, I just pulled these out because I want them to thaw a little bit. Not that they're frozen, but I want them to uh, get more room temperature before I roll them out for the turkey pot pie tonight. So we are having turkey pot pie from our Thanksgiving turkey that I froze. I'm just going to chop it up into pieces and make turkey pot pie. So that is going to happen. I got this out of the pantry this morning. I was like, looking for something and I saw this and I was like, oh, we're going to have these tonight. So we'll make those. Um, and I don't know what else we're going to do for the rest of the day, but I actually do have a list of things I need to get done. Just, you know, normal weekend chores. If you've been watching forever, you know, every weekend I have to get food from downstairs. I have to, uh, get school stuff set up for the week, things like that. So, um, I'm going to be work working on those kind of things today. So here's lunch at 10:40 hot dog and some chips. One of the things on my list to do today was to figure out which, which of the dinners that I pulled out or planned out yesterday. If you saw yesterday's video, I went through the freezer downstairs and meal planned from my freezer. So one of the things that I pulled out was um, some pulled pork that we had made a while ago and we had made so much of it. He smoked the whole thing. So we had lots of it left and I was like, I'll just freeze it. We'll have a whole nother meal. So that's what I just pulled out. Um, one of the things on my list was to figure out what we're going to have for dinner tomorrow. And that way, if I needed a crock pot meal, I could thaw it the day before. I like to do that. If we're going to have a crock pot meal and I know it needs to be in the fridge all, or in the crock pot most of the day, I try to pull out the meat the day before. That way it's completely thawed and I don't have to worry about trying to rush to get it to thaw before I put it in the crock pot. So, um, that was one of my things on here was to figure out dinner tomorrow. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do like the tortellini ravioli or something else, but I figure we'll just do this um, pulled pork. I'll make some buns tomorrow and we'll have something like something with it. So dinner tomorrow, I don't have anything to cross this off, but that's done. Um, I need to fold some clothes, put them away, post the video, edit and post the video from yesterday. I need to get food from downstairs for the week um, and some school stuff going. So I need to get all that done. There's a couple other things, but those are the main goals for today. These cats are so funny. They just rip and tear through the house all the time. They are hilarious. You can probably hear, look, here they go again. Round and round and round. pretty much set up. I'm printing the rest of Wilder's stuff right now. So I have been using printable things for him in the moment. So I just have to wait for all of his math and language arts to print and then I'll put them in here. But I have everything else of his ready to go. And I got all of Everly's done. Ashlyn's I don't have to do because hers stays in her book because she has too many separate parts to pull out the way that we do for the younger kids. Um, hers is easier to keep together. I think just because of the age difference. Theirs is easy to pull out. Hers, she needs so many different pieces from so many different books. It would just be a mess. It's easier to just keep it all together. So um, I'm not sure at what age that'll switch, but for now, I like doing it like this for the little kids because instead of seeing multiple books stacked up and being intimidated, they only have a couple papers in front of them. So that is why I do it like this. It's just easier on them, I think. And they're also, it, there's also not a hundred books on the table either. So it just works out. But as soon as his stuff's done, I'm gonna hole punch it and put it in his binder as well. And then all the school stuff will be ready for the upcoming week too. I'm gonna go ahead and get these going and get them in the oven. So 350. And we're gonna do probably nine by nine-ish. Cause I have like a weird shaped one. It's not nine by nine, but I have, it's like a little rectangle. So I'll go with that one. We'll do that. So all I have to add is water, vegetable oil, and two eggs to this. 
So we'll just mix this all around, pop it on in the oven, and we'll have some yummy dessert. So yesterday, if you watched it, I'm sure you saw me make uh, meal ideas. I was gonna show you the board, but I have the wrong board. I have my list of food from downstairs board. I thought I had the other one. Um, I was gonna show you everything that I wrote down yesterday, but if you already saw it, you don't even need to see it. But um, I had just written a bunch of meals from food that I had pulled up from the freezer. So I just went through and wrote out actually like a meal plan from that. So I'll show it to you. So if you missed yesterday, I just wrote them down like this. I just before I sat down, went and wrote the dates on them. And then I was like, you know what? Let me write it down a little bit nicer. So then I came in here with some paper and a pencil and I was like, let me go ahead and decide what I'm gonna have every day. So it's a, just a little bit easier for me. I like to have it planned out. That way I kind of know what to expect. So I might change them through the week, but at least I'll have some kind of idea. Like today, I'll have some kind of idea of what we're gonna have tomorrow. Um, and then tomorrow I'll have some kind of idea of what we're going to have Monday. But like I said, it might get switched around, but at least I have this to go on. So we have bacon left over from today. So I was thinking I'll use that up tomorrow and we'll just make bacon and good cheese biscuits. And then tomorrow for lunch on the weekends, I don't ever really plan anything. We just kind of go with the flow because we're always so busy and in and out and everybody doing different things that it's just easier instead of like during the week when we're here and we all sit down at the same time. Um, weekends, I'm just like, whatever, eat whatever you want kind of thing. Um, we'll have the pork, mac, mac and cheese, beans, collard greens, and then Monday I was thinking we have sausage patties and waffles in the freezer, so I'll just pull that out and make that, so that'll be very easy. Quesadillas, because I have tortillas up here in the freezer as well, that I can go ahead and just make tor uh, quesadillas. And then ravioli, the California vegetables, and garlic bread. Tuesday, so we have some bananas that are starting to get to the point where they need to be eaten over the next day or two. And if they're not, we'll turn them into some banana bread with some hard boiled eggs on Tuesday. And then we'll do tacos with the other um, tortillas that I have um, with some of the canned taco meat that I did. So that'll be easy. And then we'll have the roasted turkey. Well, it's not roasted, it's just a turkey breast, but I'm gonna roast it with some mashed potato stuffing and Brussels sprouts. And then Wednesday, we have some French toast sticks up here in the freezer. We'll use that with some Canadian bacon I have in the fridge that needs to be cooked up. Um, lunch, I have those mini hot dogs in here with some noodles. And then at dinner, we'll have jambalaya corn and cornbread. Thursday, I was just thinking those sourdough muffins my kids like a lot, and I'll make them like a little yogurt parfait or something to go with it. Probably just a lunch tray or something easy. And then for dinner, leftovers or tortellini soup because that'll take care of the tortellini I have. And we have some sausage and I have some spinach, so I can kind of throw that all together. So that'll be a perfect dinner. And then Friday, chocolate chip pancakes and eggs. Wilder's been asking for chocolate chip pancakes, so that's why that's on there. Uh, and then I was thinking for lunch, either leftovers or if we don't have any corn dogs or possibly pizza, or I, I'm not really sure there, but that's why there's a couple different things and we might not even have any of those, who knows? And then for dinner, some easy pork lo mein with some of the canned pork I have downstairs. So that'll be super simple. And then some egg rolls. So there we go with our meals for this week. We got all that accomplished while our brownies baked. So now that I made the list of what we're going to have, I just went down and grabbed a, what we're going to need for the week. So we should be pretty set. Now it's time to do our pie crust. So we're just going to roll it out into about 12 inches. saute up this onion and I need to chop up the turkey for our turkey pot pie. And I'm going to add some mixed veggies in here. So 
gonna add a little bit of chicken broth and some flour and pepper, some salt and some garlic powder. And I'm gonna let this thicken while I chop up the turkey. And here's the turkey. I'm just gonna chop it up and add it. into the oven. I'm gonna bake it on 425. Here's our turkey pot pie. It came out so cute. All right, here's our dinner. Our turkey pot pie. I served it with some applesauce and our leftover rolls from yesterday. The pie crust was really, really good. I was surprised. I just wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was because I was just nervous about making it the first time and I've never really been able to make pie crust, so I just didn't have very good high hopes, and it came out really good. But um, I was getting ready to tell you something, and then I got distracted telling you about the pie crust, and now I can't even remember what I was gonna say. I don't know, cannot remember at all what I was gonna say, but everything's just about cleaned up. I mean, I've got that, and I'm waiting for Wilder to finish so I can put that, that's a little pig bowl or chicken bowl or whatever, that's like a bowl that we keep to put all the little scraps in uh, that go to the animals. So um, just waiting on him to finish and I'll scrape, if there's anything left on his plate, I'll just scrape it in there. But everything else is cleaned up other than that. So I'm gonna end our video because why not? It's 618 and we're just gonna hang out and relax and probably watch a movie or something. It's raining outside, there's nothing else to do, so we'll probably do that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow, bye.